Reindeer Studios presents Three Dumb Questions! Hey, superstars, welcome to Three Dumb Questions. I'm your host, Scott. Is this a game show? Is this an interview? I don't know, man. I just thought it would be fun, I guess. But uh, this is the show where there are no dumb answers, only dumb questions. And before I get into what this, what this is all about, I want to introduce my very first guest ever. I'm honored to have on the show the incomparable Dustin Abraham of Dustin and Blake. Hey, Dustin. Hey, Scott. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> that I'm excited. One of questions. Oh, good. Yeah. You you were pretty special. Oh, yes. I'm very special. <laughs> so you said Blake was off skiing today? Yep. He's off skiing. Yep. Do you, now, do you ski at all? I haven't skied since I was a, a young little wee lad. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have never been great at like competitive sports like baseball or football, but I've always been good at skiing for some reason. I just, I, I love it. And unfortunately I haven't done it for about three years ever since COVID hit, but I used to, I like, I love it. I think I would, I I'm so out of shape. I'd probably have a tough time doing it. Um, so let's talk about you a little bit before we get into this. Um, okay. I've always liked how like community forward you are, if that's a thing, like you've got the super collectors unite um, or is it United? It's unite, right? Unite. Yep. Yeah. um, That's where you all support each other's uh, super collections. Yours being Kirby. And then I did find it a little funny that you um, invited me to join that stuff. And then nobody seemed very impressed with my Alvaro collection. I'm impressed with it. Well, there you go. And that's all I need. Yeah. Hey, everybody's collection is super, right? Right. All of ours. Right. And then you're into the card family for life. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, you know, like some people complain about how our like YouTube sports card community can be a little clickish at times. But I like I feel like you've always been very inclusive to everybody, like the old guys and the new guys and vintage guys and TTM guys and like you name it. But uh, I've always like been impressed with you for that well thank you well i try to and we've always even back when blake was regularly on the channel we've always tried to do a variety of stuff within you know under the sports card umbrella and yeah and like i watch a variety of channels i don't i watch football guys i watch baseball guys i even once in a while watch a hockey or basketball guy even though i have no interest in collecting that i'm kind of the same way Yep. <laughs> You've been doing this a long time, longer than me, I know. Um, how long have you been at it? I believe we started in 2017, I want to say. Okay. Because Blake started collecting in the spring of 2017, and mm-hmm. we started our channel two or three months after he started collecting. Cool. So you're a Minnesota guy, and I really like Minnesota accents. Do you, can you do one of those? I don't know. You know, uh, <laughs> I really don't think I can, you know, okay. they're awesome. This is like almost Canadian, but not quite. Just... Right. Well, and then we have, we have little colloquialisms or whatever you want to call them that people don't say anywhere else. Like we don't have casserole. We have hot dish. Okay. And like, I think Minnesota and South Dakota are the only two states that use the phrase hot dish. All right. I like it. Regularly. Casserole is kind of an ugly word anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's right. too fancy. Now, I didn't a lot of like Minnesotans move to Alaska at some point. Like they, they're sort of a similar accent. I don't know. I, I didn't move there. So that's okay. all I know. <laughs> all right. I, I thought that was a thing, but maybe I'm full of it. If you watch the movie Fargo. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe that's how we sound to other people, but like, to me, that's where they take it too far. Okay. But if you watch uh, Kurt Russell in the movie Miracle, Mm -hmm. like, I think he's got the spot on Minnesota accent right there. Screw him. Sounds good. Um, So you excited about the Vikings? I don't know if excited is the word, but I guess I'm anxious about it in every way that anxious can be. Because right, football is one and done, and you know that's that's kind of tough. And the Vikings have just had a history of letting me down over and over and over again. So mm-hmm. 
I'm not keeping my hopes very high, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Anything can happen. All right. I'm a Browns fan, so like I don't even know what playoffs are like. Yeah. Uh, um, it's true. So we're recording this on Saturday, so we have no idea what's happened yet. Or we, we could pretend. Yeah. If you want. Did you see that ludicrous I, display? Yeah, I can't believe the, those referees. That was terrible. That, that play calling. Yeah. Incredible. Just a disgrace the way they coach that team. <laughs> right. All right. So how about um, Correa coming back to the Twins? I don't know. I Correa is a great player. It concerns me that uh, the Giants and the Mets didn't want to sign him, sign him based on his his physical. Mm-hmm. And then the Twins are just like, sure, we'll sign him. <laughs> and also, even last year, like he he had a decent year. But he was just not good in the clutch. Like, if there's guys on bases, he wasn't going to hit them home, you know? Right. And he didn't really start playing well until the Twins were pretty much out of the playoffs. Then he started playing better. Okay. I so, that, I don't know. I thought the contracts that he they were offering him were ridiculous. Like, all these guys are ridiculous. But that was like, he's he's good. He's, he's not he's that not, good. Yeah, right. Yeah. He's not a, I, I don't call him a superstar. Right. Um, he's a, he's good, but he's not like top tier players in the MLB, in my opinion. So we're both AL Central guys. Um, I was kind of, I, I, I didn't like to see Ben and come, come to the White Sox. Cause that kid's a pest. Yeah. I mean, he was already on the Royals, but right. it's just, I don't know. I, I It's so different with baseball. I feel like in football, like I really don't like the other teams in the Vikings division. I'm just like, oh, I hate the Packers. I hate the Bears. <laughs> the Lions are, are always terrible, so I don't really have too too much angst against them. But, but like in baseball, like I, I don't really have a problem with the Tigers or the Indians or Guardians, sorry. Or the White Sox or Royals. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I kind of wish the Brewers would have stayed in the American League and that would have been the team that I could hate, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I kind of the team that I hate is the White Sox. Yeah, I, I don't I, like the White Sox, but <laughs> I, I hate the Yankees. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get to uh, three dumb questions. All so right. I wanted to do this because the people that I thought were my friends keep doing these live streams and nobody asked me on and I was getting a little Rude. jealous. Rude. I know, right? No, nah, not really. But uh, um, I did want to do something um, that involved very little editing because uh, most of my videos, I spend hours creating art and then I spend hours editing and, you know, I get jealous of the guys that can like turn on the camera, talk for 20 to 50 you know, 20, 30 minutes and then turn off the camera and they they have a video and like, Hey, Hey, yeah. I put fart noises in my videos. So you do. You yeah. do. <laughs> and I appreciate that. But, um, so I wanted, I wanted something that I didn't have to edit too much. I can still put fart noises in if you want. Yes. Right, right here. Okay. Put one in. That was a good one. <laughs> um, so I wanted to do something. I like connecting, you know, like, like Forley says, connect, collect to connect, but I like to connect and I want to do something on a level sort of beyond cardboard to get to know you guys a little better other than like your Dustin, the Kirby pocket guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I reached out to Dustin because we're buds and I figured he wouldn't turn me down and he didn't. Thank you, Dustin. And I told him that I want to ask him three dumb questions and I gave him, Two questions. The questions, they could be about sports or baseball cards, but they don't have to be. Like, for example, I could ask Dustin, like, if he was on death row, what would he request for his final meal? That kind of question. But I'm not going to ask that. You can answer it if you want, but that's not one of our questions today. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I gave you two of the questions ahead of time. And for the third, we're going to spin the wheel of dumb questions and put you on the spot. And then when we're done with that, you can ask me a dumb question. So. But see, the one I have one problem. Uh huh. You get to ask me three dumb questions, and I only get to ask one dumb question. That's because this is my show. Uh, come on, it's all about me, man. 
Do you want to ask more dumb questions? I I have three dumb questions to ask. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's up to you. Depends on how long we run, right? Hey, let's do it. Okay. I like it. All right. So, um, this is our first show, or my first show. You're you're just the guest. And if, but if it all goes poorly, it's all on you, buddy. Yeah. Well, all right. So. I, ex- I accept responsibility. I'm I'm glad. <laughs> So, dumb question number one. So, uh, last time the National was in Chicago, I had the pleasure of having lunch with you and Blake, and we were walking back to Chicago, and we saw Patrick Renna. So, it was kind of cool that I got to experience that with you guys, and Patrick was nice enough to take a photo with Blake. Um, So, the question is, who is the most famous person you have ever met? And it doesn't have to be sports-related. It could be anybody. Right. And I thought about this, and like... Aside from Patrick Renna, I've never really met an actor, I don't think. Okay. And, you know, sports stars and I've met some rock stars, some like heavy metal stars. They don't really, they're not as well known usually as like actors and stuff. But Mm -hmm. since Patrick Renna, you know, he's, people recognize him, but he doesn't, his name isn't really a household name. Right. So I guess. I thought about it and I think it's probably got to be Rod Carew. I okay. think it's got to be the, the most famous person I've ever met. Um, I would say that's more famous than Patrick Renna. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Joe Maurer. Yeah. Pro- it's probably got to be Rod Carew, but we've met so many uh, twins players and a lot of Vikings players and I've met a handful of rock stars, like I said, but yeah, it's gotta be Rod Carew. I think it's the most famous. I like it. Um, I think my, my most famous person I've ever met was Blake. Yeah. (laughs) He's he's got that air about him. He's, you know. Yeah. He kind of acts like he's famous. Yeah. I I remember he get mad at me when I couldn't guess how old he was. (laughs) All right. So, all right. On to dumb question number two. So you're into music, and I'm into music, so I think you might like this one. Um, who makes a better misfit, Glenn Danzig or John Mangini? That's an interesting question, and I've thought it thought about it a little bit. So, I mean, you're talking to – you're talking about baseball card collectors and hard rock and enthu- – you know, I guess it, hardcore music enthusiasts are both kind of misfits – among the world Mm -hmm. but you have to break each person down so you got glenn danzig he was the founder or one of the co-founders and frontmen of the misfits but i always liked the band danzig a little bit more than the misfits okay so i actually totally agree with you so so i think glenn danzig is a better danzig than he is a misfit And he he even wrote songs for guys like Roy Orbison and Johnny Cash. And there's nothing misfit about that, right? Right. But then you take John Mangini and you were part of the Misfits crew, weren't you? I am. I am not an official misfit. No, you're not an official misfit. I've hung out with him. Here's a bunch of baseball card nerds Mm -hmm. at the world's biggest baseball card nerd convention. And they're saying that they're misfits. I mean, come on. So if you if you break it down that way, the obvious answer is Hermie the Elf. What? Okay. I like it. Um wow. That, there are no dumb answers. Yeah. That's definitely not a dumb one. But that one's close. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree with you. Like how how? Are the misfit the baseball card misfits misfits? Like I've I said this to Jake once. I feel like I'm more of a misfit than those guys are because I my channel isn't really even about baseball cards for the most part. Like I said, like baseball card collecting, hardcore music, Mm -hmm. that's groups of misfits. But Hermie the Elf, even among misfits, he's a misfit. You'll never fit in. Right. So that's oh, my answer. He wants to be a dentist. Someday I'd like to be a, a dentist. Yep. 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 I like it. All right. Dumb question number three. This is where I get to put you on the spot. 
So all right, gonna, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel here. Let me bring the wheel up. Okay. All right. Are there other channels? So this one is kind of an easy one. Let's bring us back up here. I do want to say, I, I do want to go back to the Misfits questions for just a second. Okay. I do want to give John credit for, he's a little bit more of a misfit than Glenn Danzig. And that's because he plays with nunchucks a lot. All right. So I had to mention that. Who would win in a fight though? Ooh, I don't know. Glenn Danzig's pretty big. <laughs> right. It'd probably be, it depends on if, if, uh, John is able to have his nunchucks or not. Okay. That's fair. All right. So are there other channels? Um, what non sports ball YouTube channels do you watch? If any, um, not many these days. I used to watch more, but now it's like there is a great channel. They just don't make videos anymore. It's called Heavy Metal 101 Reviews. Make <laughs> sure to check that. that one out. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> but uh, they haven't made a video in several months. Okay. Um. Yeah, there are other channels. I mean, I watch other stuff, but there's no, nobody that I watch that isn't a, a sports card channel that I watch like regularly. Okay. You know, like I'm, I, I notification bell and all that jazz. You know, I, I watch other stuff, but I'm always watching videos on how to do stuff. Right. You know, like how do you fix this on your car? Or how do you make this, this meal or, you know, stuff like that. Adam, I'm all, always constantly want to watch stuff like that. Otherwise, uh, music videos and music stuff. I, I'm watch a lot of videos on that stuff. Professor of rock is one that I do watch. He he's pretty good. Okay. I recommend you check him out. If you like, uh, any type, he, it's not necessarily like heavy metal. He does, you know, like popular rock and stuff like that. Okay. I'll have to check that one out. Okay, so I guess it's uh, your turn to ask me a dumb question. So I get to ask dumb questions now, right? Questions, yeah. And My first question know. was, okay. um, what's the strangest thing that you've ever found in your beard? Oh, wow. Um, Scotty Aranya. <laughs> He's always, like, sneaking in there and... I could see that. I see him yeah. poking out. I see a Bo Bichette coming out of the, your beard right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For some reason, he just thinks it's so like comfortable and snugly in there. So he's he's always up in there. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I see that. You know, I, I sometimes will spill food and stuff on that. But like, I guess this isn't really strange. But mm -hmm. I'll be at work and I'll be thinking about a problem and I'll go. And I'll pull out one of my wife's long blonde hairs. <laughs> it happens at, you know, once a week at least. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you find it helpful to have a spotter when you're eating? Yeah, not really. Cause I'm going to okay. spill stuff in there no matter what. That's right. I had a nice big chunk of cheese in there earlier today. I, I ate a, I, I, I ate a toaster strudel this morning mm -hmm. and I don't eat them very much, but um, I think I made some for my daughter and she didn't eat it all. And so then I was eating it and like later on in the day, I'm like, geez, my beard really got gray. And here it was like <laughs> sticky with white frosting. <laughs> nice. I was going to ask you, actually, I used to get this a lot. Um, the There used to be a popular um, reality show, Duck Dynasty. Mm -hmm. And when that was popular, everywhere I'd go, people be like, oh, I see you're doing the whole Duck Dynasty thing. Right. I've and it's that. like, no, yep. I've. Yeah, yeah, sigh. I'm I'm like, no, I've had this beard for years. It has nothing to do with some silly reality show. Right. But so somebody yeah, gave me this because they thought it looked like me. Yeah, I think so. so I'm surprised people don't say, hey, you're doing the whole reindeer studios thing now. <laughs> <laughs> they should. 
All right, my second dumb question. All right. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Hmm. Um, I have actually tried this many times and I've never come up with the right answer. <laughs> so I will. I The owl's right. You, One, two, three, three. Three licks and then you bite it. Just three? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I think a couple times I made it to like five or six before okay. I bit it. I think that's why my teeth are in such bad shape. Too much research on that one. Could be. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think with your beard and mustache to filter all the stuff out, you wouldn't have that problem, but. Hey, you know. The old soup strainer. Okay. Doesn't help with the Tootsie Pops. <laughs> the world may never know. My third dumb question. Okay. If everything evolved from amoebas, why do we still have amoebas? Hmm. <laughs> wow. I don't I don't even think I'm witty enough for this. <laughs> I don't know. Why do men have nipples? Yeah, that's true. Right? That so they can grow hair around them. Right. Yeah, you, you, you stumped me on that one. Yeah, I, I don't know the answer either. Yeah. I mean, nobody does. It's one of those life's greatest mysteries things. If I would have shared my stupid questions with you in advance, like you did mm -hmm. with me, maybe you could have came up with something cool and smart. Maybe. But probably not, though. I don't know. Probably not. I'm yeah. not that smart. <laughs> Well, well, anything else? I think that was good. I think it was good too. All right. I enjoyed, good I enjoyed myself. Good. I enjoyed you too. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I she always... said. <laughs> <laughs> so Dustin, you're one of my favorite people and I had a lot of fun hanging out with you for 23 minutes here. I appreciate it, sir. And we'll see how this goes and I'd love to do more. Um, maybe even have you back sometime or Blake, or both of you. and It's a good idea because, you mean, the risk the risk that you're taking with this show is you're starting out with the best. I know. And so where it goes from here, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, if any of you people that are watching want to be on Three Dumb Questions, let me know in the comments or contact me through email or smoke signals or whatever. And uh, thanks again, Dustin. And thank you guys for watching and be good. Later. All right.